Guys, I'm so proud of myself. Oh my god. <laughs> Hello, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, hi, who is this here? It's me, it's Didi, D'Angela, call me whatever you want to call me. <sighs> I just so hyped about my hair, I'm so hyped. So, what this video is going to be is, um, come on, speak English, I am not, uh, Let's do this one more time. Two hours later. So this video is going to be a tutorial on how I achieve, well, I won't say how I achieve, but how I did my finger oils, right? Because I didn't show like how my hair, how I um, styled it like this. But I am going to show you all how I did my finger curls and you're gonna see how juicy them curls look this is my hair after it's dried so yeah let me see y'all could see like my curls and stuff like that being all defined and bouncy and all of that and all of that but you know it looks really cute the shrinkage is real right the shrinkage is real but that's okay that's okay that's okay so if y'all interested in you know care tutorials you know makeup videos vlogs that type of thing you all know what to do already hit that subscribe button click that notification bell and yeah click that notification bell so you'll be notified when I Tianja Ferguson upload another video Hi guys, so I'm starting off with freshly washed hair, you know, you always have to keep the hair fresh and everything, so you know, I have my hair freshly washed and sectioned in two, so yeah, we're going to start with one section, which is the back section of one half of my hair, and I'm firstly going to use my hair softener, my player's hair softener, I like to use this product because you know it softens my hair from my perspective i my hair gets soft and you know i feel like my wash and go was successful because of this product and you will see why so i sped up this process because i just want to get to um doing my hair in general so i firstly started off with my Players hair softener to just moisturize my hair it's a leave-in conditioner so yeah every time you wash your hair you must always use a leave-in conditioner to add some form of moisture to your hair so that is what I'm doing right now and that process is being sped up now I am going to use my shea butter mango moisturizer and uh, this moisturizer at first i didn't really like it because the smell of it was pretty weird but then after once you get used to it it is actually really nice you know and now it's not of a it's not too much of a buttery consistency but the moisture of it is really nice and i think this cost me um between 20 and 30 dollars so yeah and i'm applying that on the section where i'm going to start my wash and go and i'm going to use my tea tree oil because i am doing the lco method right now which is liquid cream and oil so i am using my oil to lock in the moisture in that section so that when i apply the gel to my hair it won't be stiff 
it won't be hard it won't be flaky and now i'm using this lusty gel um this is the first time i'm ever using this gel and might i tell you guys this gel is really nice it is so nice it is really soft and it holds your hair but is like it have no stiffness to it it almost it almost feels like it's a moisturizer you know like those aloe vera moisturizing products you know like aloe vera gel and all these different things like it was literally like that and i'm so happy about that too but yeah i'm applying that to that section at the back of my hair and i'm going to start the curling process so what i do is i take a small section and i curl now this process is being sped up but in the next clip it will be slowed down so you all could see at the back of my head and see how the process goes so i take a small section and a very small one right and i start finger curling it from the beginning of my roots and go down right when like my hair strands because how i cut my hair the back is shorter than the front but once we get to longer strands in my hair right i would start midway but i'll keep on curling at the ends so that once the curl once i twist right it will twist up to the roots if that was understandable you know but it's demonstrated into the in the video so i uh, hopefully y'all understand it so yeah so now i am using longer pieces here and as you can see when i reach to the end of the hair i just stay longer on twisting it so that my roots could get the um twist effect as well but it is a repetitive process guys and hopefully you'll understand what is happening in this um in this video now the reason why i use small sections and i try to get the curl the curl twist to be at the roots of my hair is that it creates an individual curl so guys I finished the back of my hair I'm sorry if I'm explaining this hardly but <laughs> as the best way i could explain it and i'm going to move forward to the front of my hair so i'm taking my water my spray bottle sorry i'm taking my spray bottle and i am just damp i'm just going to make the front section of my hair damp yeah so um i use my spray bottle to damp that front section of my hair and i'm just going back with the lco process with my moisturizer and my oil so that my hair could be fully moisturized and applying my gel so that I can do my curling process and I'm going back with the twisting process once again in front of my hair so that I can have those lovely juicy curls in front so this process is a bit similar to my previous wash and go hairstyle but the thing with that is that the thing with that video is that i did not twist to the roots of my hair i just more or less curl the ends of my hair so you can see now guys that I am making sure that I get the twist close to my roots so that I can have an individual coil and it would last a little bit longer than a normal wash and go right the difference between the finger coil and a wash and go is that you know with the wash and go you use a diamond brush to just curl it here you know you scrunch it up a little bit 
boom hair curly wash and go that is quick right with the finger coil now you have to actually make an individual coil in your hair so that you know your hair could be curly and you have the option to separate it so that you can have more volume in your hair or you can wait for it to dry and you know as the days of the week goes by you know your hair will get more fluffier you know the more fluffy and ruffled it gets the better it looks you know and you would still have the individual coil in your hair right so that's the difference between the wash and go and the finger coil but they are a little bit similar in terms of you know if you want your wash and go to be neat you can do the curling process individually but it just won't be as tedious as this process so i do hope you all enjoy this video this is how my hair looks after being dried overnight right so yeah i didn't show the process of me styling on everything because you know i was just i was just playing around with my hair but this is how my hair looks after it's been dried and everything so let me know in the comment section if you all enjoyed this tutorial let me know if you all would like to try it someday and also give me some video recommendations some hairstyles you all would want to see me doing my hair like you know come on just let me know let me know so yeah don't forget to like comment and share this video with your friends your family your mother your father whoever right don't forget to share this video don't forget to hit that subscribe button because it really helps my channel to grow and click that notification bell so you'll be notified every time i deandra ferguson upload another video